Let us discuss about graphical construction of images formed in spherical mirror. What are the rules for to construct ray diagrams by using spherical mirrors? First one. First you have to consider a ray of light which is traveling a ray of light traveling parallel to the principal axis after reflection. This ray gets reflection from this mirror. This is concave mirror. This is concave mirror. Okay. Then after reflection, the ray passes through the principal focus. This ray, the reflected ray will pass through the principal focus. Okay. This is one condition for the concave mirror. Next, in case of convex mirror, this is convex mirror, convex mirror. In case of convex mirror, a ray of light traveling parallel to the principal axis and incident on convex mirror. After reflection, this is, after reflection, this is reflected in this direction. This is incident ray and this is reflected ray. After reflection, it will appears to coming from principal focus of a convex mirror. So this is the first rule. In case of concave mirror, after reflection, the ray will pass through the principal focus. In case of convex mirror, after reflection, the ray will appears to coming from principal focus. This is the rule one. Next, what is the rule, rule to consider a mirror and this is convex mirror and this is concave mirror. This is polished surface. This is coated surface. Okay. See, what is the second rule here? This is the second rule. If a ray of light passes through the principal focus and incident on the surface of concave mirror after reflection it will traveling parallel to the principal axis what is the rule to here if a ray of light passes through the principal focus that means incident ray passes through the principal focus after reflection it will travel parallel to the principal axis this is, this is in the case of concave mirror okay next in case of convex mirror if a ray of light directed towards the principal focus this is the ray of light directed towards the principal focus that means it is after it is directed towards the principal focus and this ray incident on the surface of convex mirror after reflection it will travels parallel to the principal axis. This is the rule 2. Okay. So what, are, what is the rule 2? If a ray of light passes through the principal focus in case of concave mirror after reflection it will travel parallel to the principal axis. In case of convex mirror this is convex mirror. A ray of light directed towards the principal focus after reflection it will travel parallel to the principal axis this is rule 2 next next what is rule 3 if a ray of light passes through the center of curvature this is a ray of light passes through the center of curvature this is the center of curvature after reflection what is the path of the reflected ray? After reflection, it moves in the same path. The reflected ray also moves in the same direction. So what is the rule 3 here? If a ray of light, that means incident ray passes through the center of curvature. After reflection, it will pass through the same path in case of concave mirror. At the same time, in case of convex mirror, a ray of light directed towards the center of curvature. This is a ray of light 
directed towards the center of curvature that means if you extend this line it will appear as coming from center of the curvature okay so after reflection this is in the direction and after reflection it is moves in the same direction here also okay this is the rule too in case of concave mirror it will moves in the same direction the reflected ray will moves in the same direction same path in case of concave mirror it will the reflected ray will appears to coming from center of curvature that means it is moves in the same direction this is rule 3 next what is the rule 4 consider another mirror and this is concave mirror and this is convex mirror next rule 4 if a ray of light incident at principal focus that means this is a ray of light incident at principal focus this is incident ray after strikes the concave mirror it reflects obliquely that means here the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection in case of concave mirror the ray incident at the pole after reflection it will passes obliquely okay so here the incident angle is equal to the reflected angle so both are equal here in case of convex mirror if a ray of light incident at pole after reflection it will passes obliquely so here also incident angle i is equal to incident angle r okay this is rule 4 okay here it is satisfy the laws of reflection so here also the in case of convex mirror the incident ray and reflected ray sets for the laws of reflection okay these are the rules for construct ray diagrams in case of spherical mirrors thank you